What if I told you there's a living organism growing in darkness right now that's replacing leather, styrofoam, and even concrete, and it does it faster, cheaper, and without a single factory? Dell already ships computers with it. NASA wants to build Mars habitats from it. And in California, a 316-unit building is already being insulated with it. The technology is called mycelium engineering, and one company turned it from a weird biology experiment into an $85 million manufacturing platform. Let's see how this science is about to disrupt seven industries at once. When you see a mushroom, you're looking at about 5% of the organism. The actual body lives underground as a network of microscopic threads called hyphae. These threads can span entire forests, connecting trees and moving nutrients across miles. But here's what makes mycelium insane from an engineering perspective. It's the most efficient biological glue on Earth. As it grows, mycelium secretes enzymes that break down whatever organic material it touches, dead wood, leaves, agricultural waste, even certain plastics. While it's digesting this stuff, the threads physically weave through it at a microscopic level. We're talking two to 10 micrometers thick. The organic waste provides bulk and structure. The mycelium provides the binding network. And because those threads are so fine, the material is incredibly strong for its weight. In 2007, two students at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Eben Bayer and Gavin McIntyre, heard their professor mention this binding property in passing. The company they founded, Ecovative Design, now operates an $85 million operation, producing millions of square feet of mycelium materials annually. And the process they perfected is almost stupidly simple. You take agricultural waste, corn stalks, hemp fiber, sawdust, literally the stuff farmers burn or throw away, mix it with mycelium spores, pack it into whatever shape you want, then you wait. Over five to seven days, the mycelium colonizes everything, the threads spread through every gap, digesting and binding. The material gets progressively denser as the fungal network strengthens. When it hits the density you want, you heat treat it just enough to kill the organism and lock the structure. What you end up with is a foam that performs like styrofoam. Same compressive strength, same ability to protect electronics during shipping. But instead of 98% air trapped in petroleum polymers that'll sit in a landfill for 500 years, you've got a biodegradable composite grown from garbage. The thermal properties are equally good. That dense network of threads traps air in microscopic pockets, giving you insulation values that match conventional materials. And when exposed to fire, it chars instead of melting or releasing toxic fumes. Dell started using it in 2011 to ship servers. The kicker? It was actually cheaper than styrofoam once you scaled production. Not sustainable, but expensive. Genuinely cost competitive. But here's what Ecovative figured out that made this bigger than just packaging. You can program the material's properties by changing what you feed it and how you grow it. Want it denser and rigid? Use lignin-rich substrates and longer growing times. Want it flexible? Different substrate, less compression. Want it water-resistant? Mycelium naturally produces hydrophobic compounds as it matures. You just control when you stop the growth. When Ecovative started growing mycelium in flat sheets instead of shaped molds, they discovered something wild. It can mimic leather. The science makes sense once you know it. Leather gets its properties from collagen fibers, long protein chains that provide strength and flexibility. When you compress mycelium into sheets, those microscopic threads align and create a similar fibrous structure. Not identical chemically, but functionally equivalent. Lab tests show tensile strength in the same range as animal leather. It stretches without tearing. It develops a patina over time. It even smells similar because some of the same organic compounds are present. Cattle leather needs two to three years of raising livestock, 15,000 liters of water per kilogram, and chemical tanning with chromium and heavy metals. Ecovative's mycelium leather grows in nine days, uses 90% less water, needs zero toxic chemicals, and actually absorbs more CO2 than the process emits. Echo is using it in shoes now. Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger have product lines launching. But Ecovative isn't making the final products. They're licensing the technology and supplying raw material. That's how it scales it fast. Bagged up, and then it'll typically undergo a quality inspection and the 
the material that passes gets sent. The same directly. fiber structure that works for leather works for meat. It fries up and gets crispy just like bacon and tastes pretty amazing too. Real meat has texture because muscle tissue is aligned protein fibers. Most plant-based meats are ground proteins reformed into shapes, which is why they feel uniform and paste-like. Mycelium grows naturally as aligned threads. Compress it right, and you get actual fibrous texture without tricks. They launched My Bacon in 2021. It's now in over 1,400 stores and is the fastest growing alternative meat in the northeastern U.S. But the most unexpected application? Construction. When you grow mycelium with specific substrates and compress it into blocks, you get bricks that test stronger than standard concrete in certain applications. The microscopic thread network acts like reinforcement throughout the material, distributing stress and stopping cracks from spreading. A 316-unit housing project in California is using giant mycelium panels grown with Ecovative's tech for insulation. Fire-resistant, sound-absorbent, carbon-negative, grown from agricultural waste. And at the end of the building's life, maybe a century from now, you can compost the insulation. Concrete production is 8% of global CO2 emissions. Ecovative just proved you can replace it in certain uses with a material that sequesters carbon instead of emitting it. Then there's NASA. They're testing whether astronauts could bring dormant mycelium to Mars, add water from ice deposits, and grow structures that shield against radiation. Instead of shipping construction materials at $10,000 per pound, you send dried spores that weigh almost nothing. Add local resources, and the habitat grows itself. Early tests show it works. The structures maintain integrity and even self-repair minor damage because the mycelium stays dormant but viable. What started as two students in a dorm room has become a platform licensed across packaging, fashion, food, construction, and space exploration. We've always grown our food. Ecovative proved we can grow almost everything else, too. It turns out the fungal takeover we all joked about is finally here. Let's just hope it's not the last of us edition. Until next time, keep an eye on the future.